Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen today we will be building the arcade from Stranger Things. You're gonna want to get your purple concrete start with the left side of the building and place it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen from there we're gonna do the back so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one then we're gonna do the right side two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you're gonna leave a gap for a door switch to oak wood planks three four five and a uh, sixth one and bring them all the way across these are gonna be impersonating some dark beige bricks which we do not have in the game yet so the dimensions are 18 by 21 now we're gonna get start on the floor which is a checkered pattern so we're gonna go ahead and take some white concrete some yellow concrete some blue concrete and some red concrete you're gonna display them like in a pattern like this and don't pause the video yet and do it because I have a little modification to provide to you guys so it's gonna give off a sort of clownish colorway but a very vibrant one so you're gonna do this throughout the whole building except for this back and side wall so once you're done you should have something a little like this I think it's very pleasing to look at I'm not gonna lie now we're gonna get a head start on the outside wall so two and then you're gonna add orange concrete and one two three four blocks in height of white quartz pillars I believe so it's gonna have a little look like this now we're gonna get start on the walls we will take some blue concrete powder why not blue concrete because I just didn't want the same textures sorry my bad textures throughout the whole building so you're gonna put it all the way into the last standing wall and bring them up let's bring it up uh, all the way to the top why not boom so you're gonna fill all of that in and we'll get started on the next step there we have it now we're gonna be doing the little archways that we can see uh, the editor's gonna put it in any second now but uh, so you're gonna do two blocks away from each wall and you're gonna bring them all the way up now you're gonna switch to your orange concrete as you can see our boy will is standing in one of the archways to get from one point to another point in the arcade so you're going to be placing three in height leave a gap of three and three more in height then you're just going to place some blue powdered concrete now you're going to place one on each orange column all the way to the top if you would like then you're going to take some acacia i think they're called acacia stairs put them like this with a slab to mimic an arch and fill it up to the top you're going to do the exact same thing on the left side and fill it all in like this magic trick wow so now we're gonna go ahead and have a start on uh, the manager's office I guess in maybe one scene for about a minute you could see it in the show but you're gonna be doing it four blocks away from the wall then do uh, do this which I show on the sh on the screen you could rewind it and play back again so then you're gonna do one two that's gonna be a little bathroom this is this area here three blocks in height like the arches oops then put powdered concrete all the way to the top put the acacia inverted stairs and the slabs this is gonna be like the the gift job slash reward area so you're gonna fill this all the way to the top fill this all the way to the top and this you're gonna do uh, these two columns because we will add a door now let's add let's add this new warp door because it's blue and it kind of matches the theme I, the theme I guess so we're gonna put it there actually yeah let's put it from the inside perfect and now for the office of the man who always eats Cheetos for some reason we're gonna do this and you're gonna bring this all the way up to the top and we'll get started on our next section of the building so once you've done that we're gonna go ahead and grab some uh, what are they called again some 
stone, smooth slabs, I think. But beforehand, we're gonna add a trap door, like that, matching the door, so that we could uh, have some access to the, the gift shop area. So as you can see here, we have the acoustic tiles, and we're gonna place them on top. Feel free to mute the audio and just look at a tutorial. Tell me in the comments if it's easy to follow. If not, let me know. And this is how it's gonna look from the inside. Pretty accurate, I guess. As accurate as you could get in this game. So we're just gonna fill it all up. And here, one block on the inside. We're gonna add some more acoustic tiles. And on top of that, you're gonna go ahead and grab some purple carpet to imitate the roof of the arcade. And you're gonna fill all of this in. Oops. You're gonna fill all. Oh, come on, man. You're gonna fill all of it in. You get the point. There we go, finally. It took about three, four minutes. Not too hard, not too hard. So we have the main structure so far in terms of the inside. Now, oh, sorry, here I got a bit advanced. Just trying to figure out what I want to do. So two, three. You're gonna do it three blocks. One, two, three blocks in height. Now we're gonna create windows. So here you're gonna do a gap of four followed with a column. Then you're gonna take out two blocks for one of the entrances. So, uh, mimic that on the other side. One, two, three. Put a column. Then you're gonna put one column. Do another entrance. Once again, another column. And a last one. And the last block you're gonna fill it up. So this is gonna be uh, the frames for our windows which are purple, orange, and uh, clear, but I'm just gonna choose white to match uh, the whole building, to match the aesthetic. And there we go, one more, two, three, four, so you're gonna cover all the windows like that, and on top of them, you're gonna put the pillar quartz block and fill it up all the way to the very top, and you're gonna cover that with some purple carpet. In terms of the doorway, you're just going to do the exact same thing. We'll get started on that after we finish the windows. So it's going to look something like this. It looks kind of modern, but we're going to spice it up and, and see what you could do. So you're going to go ahead and grab some terracotta. I'm not sure which one that one's called. It's a bit brown. So it's, it's got a bit of purple in it. You're going to go ahead and grab your iron doors with oak wood buttons so that they, uh, they camouflage into the wall so we don't get some weird squares popping out of the wall and that's where you're gonna do for the doorway and for the second one in the front of the building so you're just gonna replicate what i just did there pretty straightforward nothing too hard i'm just gonna fill in this carpet fast fast and there we go and for the door we're gonna replace this with the terracotta add the buttons the iron door and finally the two missing pieces of glass pane. The orange glass pane, oh my bad. The orange glass pane and the white glass pane. All right, so you're gonna replicate, like I said before, oops, I left the carpet there. As I said before, the doorway on the right side. And now we're gonna get started with a bit of landscaping to, to spice it up. So you're gonna take your light gray terracotta, place it three blocks in width and all the way to the other side for the length and you're gonna fill all of that in like i'm gonna do a bit here to to make it a bit simpler for you guys and then here you're gonna go one two three four five six and you can see there's a little yellow under the doorway so we're gonna take our yellow concrete place it like that and uh that, that, i mean we stick to the details right guys so then we're gonna go ahead and grab some white glass paints to mimic the water drain from the roof you don't have to if you don't want to i just think it adds extra detail so after we're done filling all of that in you're gonna go ahead and grab some whatever this block is called i think it's i think it's some more terracotta you're gonna place it five in length and just every three blocks you're gonna be doing that for some parking spaces hopefully it lines up by the end so we're just gonna tear all of that apart Boom, three block gap, put another line, three block gap, put another line, three block gap, put another line, and perfect, it lines up just right. So two, three, four, and 
five actually yeah we're gonna put it six in length just to to make it uh, a bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye now we're gonna go ahead and grab some stone smooth slabs to mimic these concrete uh, car stoppers from driving into the doors I guess so then we're gonna tear this apart and let's just let's go another layer yeah all the way let's see one two three four five six seven and eight blocks and uh you know what, let's just tear all of this into the other side of the building right here perfect and we're gonna go ahead and grab whatever block you want i'm gonna choose cyan saying i don't know what it's called you could even go ahead and grab some powdered concrete to to impersonate some uh some dirty road or some old road but i'm just gonna keep it slick act like this is a new bu built building which it is in our world and do something like this so now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the overhang in front of the side door entrance so we're gonna three four five six uh let's go how about one more from the wall two three and four in height we're gonna put one across there and one across here then go ahead and grab our slabs turn them into a full block then one two three bring it to the wall after one two three keep it symmetrical for the palace sign on top let's just go ahead and grab some purple stained glass panes we like them details we like them details they add extra so we're just gonna do this and then fill it all in I'll do a little bit of on-camera work and here we're just gonna do a second layer there the side of the building fill this all in and there we go I'm a little slow on camera that's why I cut a lot of the things I do to make it faster and simpler for you guys to follow so now we're gonna put up sorry a blast furnace to impersonate the cooling unit in the wall we like those details you don't have to if you don't want to I think it just adds it just adds to the details so then three blocks away you're gonna make this little diagonal pattern put the orange concrete white pillared quartz block here and on the other side it's gonna be purple I made a mistake I'll go fix it later as soon as I uh, get that on some more details so here we're just gonna break the the falling powder concrete block and add some white stained glass or clear stained glass whatever you like for a window for uh, the managers the owner of the place's office now I couldn't find a picture from uh, stranger things but I know that it is there there was a specific scene where they were inside for some for some strange reason Anyways, let's just go on the inside, work on a little bit of details in there to, to finish it up. There we go. And uh, yeah, we, we gotta clean this up a little. So let's go ahead and grab our powdered blue concrete. Boom, boom, we'll fix the roof later. Uh, and this side as well. Two, three, and four. Awesome. So now, uh, yeah, you could add furniture if you want, but I'll just stick to the main building. And now for the LED blue and white lights, we're gonna go ahead and grab these rods. Oh my god. Now I wish they were they would come in blue, but maybe in a future version of the game so then I could replace them and you can replace them too. So we're gonna just go ahead and bring them across to impersonate the LED lights in both sections of the arcade area. So we're just gonna do the same thing. There we have our cooling unit in parentheses, which I think does a nice job. And we're just gonna do all around. And uh, yeah, well, you could add uh, this blue lamp, but I just don't think it has the same effect, honestly, as these rods, which are as close as we could get to the LED. So I'll show you guys the result later. Now here I'm gonna just fix that up. Awesome just like the real thing 
except we don't have that yellow line in the middle but hey we work with what we've got so now we're gonna go ahead and place our fences place them uh, exactly the same as uh, the lines for the, the parking spot sorry boom boom you're gonna place four then you're gonna take your stairs and do something like this and I'm gonna just bring it all the way across easy peasy there we go and uh, now we're just gonna bring two th three and four so then we're gonna go ahead and grab our slabs and fill all of this in manually I made a little mistake there where the overhang is there shouldn't be a full block there but a slab uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the pinball arcade game section so you're gonna go ahead and grab your yellow concrete and just do something like this boom bam bada be pow awesome actually is that yellow concrete i don't even know so you know i'll just do the fence post off camera but there is the bike rack for some extra detail and finally we will do the iconic arcade sign so you're gonna go ahead and grab uh, a block of brick like that then add some nether brick two three four fences followed with a yellow block then you're gonna go ahead and grab some quartz some quartz stairs in for those and finally some quartz slabs on top I mean hey that's as close as we'll get I think it's it's a success it is a success so this is how the arcade looks and on the inside I finished adding those LEDs I think they give a fantastic atmosphere to the whole place anyways guys I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one